And this is what my daughter is doing with the discard. So we would, we're not baking with this discard anyways, so it's fine. But we may as well have a little fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. What does it feel like, Ella? It feels like slime. Slime. Oh, fun. But we're going to make sure to clean this all up with cold water and a cloth, right? Yeah. And it's not going down the drain. Or hot water. Well, hot water. What do you think would happen if you put hot water in it? Yeah, it melts. Well, it kind of seems like it should, but it actually gets more sticky. Yes. When you use cold water, Grandma taught me that trick. When you use cold water, it actually just washes right off. So if you just have any discard stuck to your hands and you kind of try to get as much of it off as you can with a spoon, then you can just, um, if once it dries, you can kind of just rub your hands together. It'll come off and a little bit down the drain is okay. So just in case any of you are making a regular sourdough starter and it's spilled everywhere because your daughter or son decide they want to help, um, it's it, using the cold cloth. Sometimes you are on a surface where you don't want to use something abrasive like a wooden table. So I use a cold cloth or a wet cold cloth. And I just use like, you know, one of my flippers, like an egg flipper, even though I don't use eat eggs, I use this. And I just do this with cold water. If it's hot water, it won't work as well. It comes right off. So there you go. Just a little tip. Playing with the discard is so much fun. This is a great way to get your kids involved with your sourdough and give them a little microbiology lesson.